Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about assigning a phone number to a Microsoft Teams resource account. Now, this is not dial-in conferencing, where there's a conference bridge and a bunch of people call in. This is literally a phone number just like it is for an end user. So you could use the Teams rooms and order a pizza, or someone could call in to talk to a person inside the conference room. But this is not dial-in conferencing. It's not a conference bridge. It's the same as you would assign to an end user. Which brings me to the point that if you already know how to assign a phone number in Teams to an end user, you can stop watching now because it's the exact same. If you've never set up a phone number for an end user or for a resource account, let's go. To access Teams Admin Center, visit admin.teams.microsoft.com. From there, click on Users and then Manage Users. There are three ways to assign a phone number. There are three technologies, Direct Routing, Operator Connect, and Microsoft Calling Plan. I'm going to show how to do all three. So inside Manage Users, I'm going to just filter for the conference rooms I'm looking for, which are MTR-TVW, Conference Rooms 1 through 3. Once you find one, right there on the home page, you just click Edit, and it brings up this interface. It's defaulted to calling plan, that's cool. I just pick a number off the list, it automatically defines the emergency location, and you click apply and you're done. It's that easy. You get this kind of annoying wait message on occasion, but kind of ignore it. And you'll see that here the phone number has been assigned. So super easy with calling plan and off you go. So let us search, once I figure out how to type, Let's search for the rooms again and get to the second conference room. So here we are in conference room two. Once that loads, click edit right there on the root page. And direct routing is the option. Now direct routing, the numbers are not pre-populated into admin center. So someone's going to have to give you the phone number that you're going to assign to this room. You paste it in. And then you have to manually select and search for your emergency location. This one's in St. Petersburg, Florida. So I find that, assign that as my emergency location, click apply and deal with a wait message, but eventually it goes through and my phone number is assigned. Let's go back to users. Let's do this one last time. Filter on our conference rooms, MTR DV, TVW. Yeah, that typos and what, what, why are you, what? <sighs> MTR dash TVW dash conference and room three. And once this loads, again, go to the homepage, click edit at the top, hit the pull down, and we're going to go with operator connect. There is one phone number available. This happens to be in Germany. The emergency location has automatically been updated. That was all predefined when these numbers were set up. So you as the room administrator shouldn't have to worry about any of this stuff. Your telco people will have set that up. Click apply and wait, uh, play that game, maybe click cancel sometime randomly. Ah, hey, there we go. Phone number assigned. So signing phone numbers to a resource account via Teams Admin Center, super simple depending on which of the three methods you are using. Operator Connect, Microsoft Calling Plan, or Direct Routing. Now if you're hardcore and you really want to do things, maybe you can set up automation, things like that, you can use PowerShell. So the first thing to do in PowerShell is to connect to Microsoft Teams and sign in. If you don't know how to do that, oh, there'll be a link in the notes on how to install the Microsoft Teams management agent. First thing I'm going to do is run get CS phone number assignment to list all of the available phone numbers and see which phone numbers are assigned or unassigned. The next command is get CSLIS online location, which is, stands for get CS location information service online location. And this will let me know the emergency locations which are already created. Here we can see there is a city of Munich in the country of Germany as an emergency location. Okay, now I'm going to take the location for the city of St. Petersburg and assign it to a variable called $LOC1. And now I'm going to assign a phone number to my user account. So we see here that the name of the user account, mtr-tvw-conference1 at teamsdeviceslab.com, the phone number I'm going to assign this is a phone number of type calling plan, and then I'm going to use the location of St. Petersburg, which I defined in that variable in the first command. Now I'm going to run the same command, except it'll be a direct routing phone number. So you can see there where it says phone number type, that has changed to direct routing, and it's a different phone number, 
but otherwise it's the exact same command. So this is how you assign a phone number using calling plan and how to use a number, assign a phone number using direct routing. And now I'll get into operator connect. If you remember from the previous example, the one I did using the UI Teams Admin Center, my operator connect phone number is in Munich, Germany. So I'm going to run a the same basic command, loc dollar sign loc2 equals get cs online list location where the city is Munich. And now I run pretty much the exact same command I've already run twice, except I change the phone number type to operator connect and the phone number now is a German phone number. I run this and oh crap, I get an error. Usage location, US, what's going on here? So within Teams and really Azure Active Directory, there's the concept of usage location. So you may run into this error. This is really a troubleshooting step. Hopefully if everything is set up right, you'll never see this. But I thought I'd add it in because, well, I ran into it, so I thought I'd share. The user I created, or the resource account I created, I assigned to the United States, but I'm assigning a phone number in Germany. So I'm going to need to change or update the usage location of this user from the United States to Germany. Now you can make this change in the Azure Active Directory portal, but I'm going to do it using PowerShell. So I'm going to connect to Azure AD and then sign in with my administrator account. Now, depending on your rights, you may not be able to do this. You're gonna have, you may have to reach out for help for someone to change the usage location for you. So I'm gonna sign in, do a little two factor and get back to the prompt and run a command. So I'm gonna run get dash Azure AD user. This doesn't really show me a lot. So uh, I need to run it with that pipe FL star, and now it shows me all the things that we can see right there. It says usage location is the United States, that usage location US value. So now we need to change it to DE by using set Azure AD user, the name of my resource account, and then usage location DE. And now you wait a semi-random amount of time. If you don't wait long enough, you continue to get the error. So I'm gonna skip forward a few minutes and, and show what happens when you've waited long enough. I didn't keep track of time, but I don't know, maybe 10 minutes, seven minutes, something like that happened. Let's run the command again. Hopefully our usage location has replicated and I don't see an immediate error, fingers crossed, there we go. So that's how we assign a phone number in PowerShell, in direct routing, in Microsoft Calling Plan, and in Operator Connect, and showing how to fix a usage error. So let's go ahead and get this user. Let's see what settings are enabled. There's one more thing I do wanna show. If for whatever reason this account isn't working, like you don't get a, a, you don't get a dial pad or you um, just whatever, can't make a phone call, we wanna look at the settings to make sure that enterprise voice is enabled. So we'll get CS Online user of our resource account, scroll up, Find the enterprise voice section and we can see our enterprise voice enabled and we can see it is set to true.